Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VFG Movie Reviews with your host, Tim Williams. How's it going, guys? I'm Tim, and this is VFG Movie Reviews, and I am reviewing Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Man, overall, I would say this isn't the best installment in the MCU, but this is pretty damn, damn. We have Sam Raimi sitting in the director's chair of this, and I think this gave this movie a feel until it, unto its own, because he is such a iconic director and has such a style which is are more of the practical effects but i mean this being an mcu movie uh obviously cg you got to use cg because of things on it um but there was definitely some sam raimi moments that just warmed my heart and made the movie even better because it added in a a slapstick comedy but yet a subtle comedy uh like there's a scene where america chavez wong and uh dr strange are talking in a restaurant and america starts speaking in spanish and dr strange doesn't know spanish but Wong does, and there's there's a great back and forth on why Doctor Strange doesn't understand Spanish, which is kind of funny. Uh, but the, in within that scene, there's somebody that comes up to try to take a uh, selfie with Doctor Strange, and he kind of waves him off and stuff like that. It's it's inter it's it's subtle comedy and subtle things to add to a story, uh, which is kind of cool. So, uh, I'll give you a brief rundown and then I will go through my dislikes and my likes of this movie. So, this picks up that Doctor Strange has been having these dreams of another Doctor Strange and of America Chavez being chased by this demon creature, a ribbon monster, <clears throat> which the dream is Defender Strange. And Defender Strange is going to just kill uh, America Chavez to stop it all, but ends up dying in, ends up dying in the, the meantime. And uh, America is sent into our MCU, which is officially, officially deemed 616. Because I take this as the official deeming that it's the 616. Because we know that um, in Spider-Man uh, Far From Home that the homeboy uh, Mysterio was lying. Quentin Beck was lying. So I'm taking this as the official determination that this is our 616. Uh, Did I say 619? I think I said 619. <laughs> fucking thinking wrestling. <clears throat> but... Basically, and then uh, Doctor Strange is like, okay, I'm going to go visit somebody to help us out with this. He goes and visit Wanda. Wanda's subterfuge is blown because she says America's name without Doctor Strange saying it. And he finds out the plot that she is going to kill America to go to a dimension and live out the rest of her days with Billy and Tommy <clears throat> because in every other dimension Bill and Tommy exist with her in some way except this dimension and that's a that's a thought that's a thought you got to think about on this why is this the only one where she isn't doesn't have kids well it's because she was fully corrupted by the dark hold now I've listened to a couple other reviews Oh, they made her the 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 crazy woman, and that's what they do to all characters. No, she was corrupted, and she was willing to kill people, which she does. Oh, hell of a lot of people die in this movie, 
pretty fucking gruesome deaths to get to where she wants to be. So she's gone. She's unredeemable as a character. And even at the end of this movie, I still don't think she's redeemable. She still did bad shit. She enslaved a whole town of Westview. She murdered a whole bunch of people in this movie. Like, seriously, if you haven't seen this movie, when you go see it, she murders a bunch of people and does not care. All she cares about is to go after her and get America Chavez. She doesn't care about killing Strange. She doesn't care about killing Wong. She does not care. She just wants the ability because even in the, even in the movie there's a there's a there's a there's a bit where Doctor Strange is like why don't you just have America send you to the dimension where you can be with your kids why do you have to kill her and she's like because i need to protect billy and tommy if they get sick somewhere in the multiverse is a cure for what is illing them and i need the ability to do that so she's completely off the rails. She's completely off the rails. So we get to that. She destroyed Carmitage. We get to the jumping through the different dimensions. And now I see a lot of people being like, well, we only get a couple of different dimensions. Well, yeah, because yet this movie is the multiverse of madness and it was madness. But all the places that we went to were places that America made sure we got to because that's where we needed to be and that makes sense but we did get to see a lot of we got to see the living tribunal which was dope who thought ever the living tribunal would be a thing we got to see a paint world which is really fun go a noir world and we got some other worlds that we don't even know what they were we even got the savage land we got a cart like a disney world which is kind of fucking dope as shit so once we figure out what the other worlds that they went through were, I think it would be kind of cool to find out what is still out there and what exists and what could possibly come to us. So ultimately, uh, they have to get the Book of Ashanti to get a spell to defeat uh, Scarlet Witch. The book gets destroyed. Scarlet Witch's Darkhold gets destroyed, but Wong tells her the Darkhold was only... Wong's being tortured at this point. The, the, it was only a copy. The Darkhold was only a copy. The, uh, the tomb of the creator of the Darkhold is where the Darkhold is really because it's inscribed on the walls. Everything in the Darkhold is inscribed on the walls. And that's at Wondergore Mountain, which is pretty damn dope. And we find out that Wondergore Mountain is not a tomb, it's a throne for the Scarlet Witch. Craziness ensues. We get to the Illuminati, and now I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna speak on the Illuminati as a whole. I'm not gonna tell you who's on the Illuminati because I want to talk about that in a second. After I go through this, where we're at and everything, uh, the Illuminati basically, uh, they t their, doc their Doctor Strange was killed fighting Thanos, and their world is a utopia. There's a cool scene in this world where Bruce Campbell is. Bruce Campbell, uh, America Chavez, like, goes and gets some food, and she's like, yeah, and, uh, most... Uh, dimensions uh, food is free it's kind of weird that's not free in your world and then Bruce Campbell playing this food vendor like starts being like well you need to pay a uh, uh, pizza papa or there's gonna be some trouble <laughs> and Dr. Strange is like I don't have time for this pizza papa nor do we have the money and pizza papa is like starting to do things and he's like he, he's like, well, then how about some mustard in your eye? And he goes to squirt the mustard, but Dr. Strange puts a spell on him where he starts beating up himself. And he's like, when's that? Uh, America Child is like, when's that going to wear off? Uh, he's like, uh, a couple hours, uh, three weeks, something like that. And then they go off to the Sanctum. Uh, we, we, we meet 
Master Mordo, which in the last Doctor Strange movie, we set up that Mod Mordo was going to be the bad guy. In this, he's not the bad guy. He actually embraces Doctor Strange and goes fully like beyond like everything. But he drugs him, takes him to the Illuminati. Now, I'm gonna tell you who's on the Illuminati, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about them personally. Uh, it is Captain Marvel, Baron Mor uh, Master Mordo, Captain Carter. Charles Xavier, Reed Richards, and Black Bolt. Now, cool, the Illuminati's there. Now let's move on. So Wanda does this thing, it's called uh, shadow walking, sleepwalking, dream walking, something like that. And she takes over the Wanda that's in that universe and sends that Wanda to go wreck shop. And Wanda does wreck shop they get to the book of shanti uh the book of shanti gets destroyed then they get uh caught by wanda wanda sends them to another universe where we meet another doctor strange which this doctor strange is guarding the dark hole as his dimension is collapsed there's a great fight scene where they use like music and this is where it comes to being sam raimi which is dope because they're using music to fight each other. And it was very, 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 very cool. And a lot of people are like, this is the dumbest thing ever. But if you watch it, it's cool. Because the music, it's like hard music versus soft music. And it's like colliding together. It's pretty amazing uh, little thing. We get to the, we get the Darkhold, uh, Doctor Strange takes over Defender Strange's body, which was brought into the MCU to go after Wanda. Uh, everything ensues. Uh, America Chavez uh, basically beats Wanda and shows Wanda, fine, I can't beat you. I'm not as powerful, so I'm just going to give you what you want. And she shows, she takes Wanda to where her kids are. And the kids are like, you're not our mom. You're not our mom. Throwing shit at her and stuff like this. And um, the Wanda who wrecked shop in the Illuminati uh, basically tells her they will be loved. And it, it sets Wanda to the thing where she must destroy the bad. And she brings Wonder Gore Mountain upon herself, crushing and destroying the the dark hold in every dimension so the dark hold is no longer in the mcu ever so we get and that's the end of the movie now there's a lot of bits i left out because you gotta be surprised by this but we're gonna get into some shit uh the first end credit scene is dr strange uh oh my bad let's go back here uh, so after all that, Dr. Strange is coming out of, uh, his apartment, and if you remember in the trailer, you see the third eye in the evil Dr. Strange. Well, Dr. Strange starts holding his head and yelling and just going crazy, and then the eye appears, cuts the black, right? So now we get the first post, we get the first credit scene, and we get Charlize Theron as Clea, who is from the Doctor Strange comic books, who goes to Doctor Strange and goes, you start in an incursion, and an incursion is where one dimension is overtaking another dimension and wiping it out. And she's like, you have caused an incursion and you need to fix it. And Doctor Strange is like, and she goes, are you scared? And he's like, nope. The eye opens and they jump through this portal that Clea opened with her thing. I don't know Clea. It could be cool. It'd be interested to see where this goes for the third movie, if there's a third movie. The next end end credit scene is really funny. Uh, we get Bruce Campbell beating him, still beating himself up, and it stops, and he's like, ah, 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 it's over, and it cuts to black. It's a great little moment. It's a great little moment. I love me Bruce Campbell. I love me Sam Raimi. 
So now, let's talk about the Illuminati. Like I said, the Illuminati is, Bar is Master Mordo, um, Captain Carter, which was really cool to see Haley out. Well, come back as, as that character. It was cool to see her in real life. We get Maria Rambeau as Captain Marvel, which she looked dumb. I, I didn't like her costume. I didn't like the way she acted. We get, it's X-Men cartoon Charles Xavier. He's got the yellow chair. He's got the green suit, the whole nine yards. It's Black Bolt from the Inhumans TV show, which is really kind of cool. Nice to see him come back. He was amazing as Black Bolt. And then we get John Krasinski as Reed Richards. But now, see, here's the problem. Here's the problem. So Doctor Strange is there and he's like, no, you guys don't understand. Wanda is coming. She is coming. She's going to fucking destroy us if you don't get your shit. And Reed Richards is like, we are not worried about her. We can handle her. And goes, you are ultimately the problem. And he's like, I don't think so. Wanda shows up. Um, Captain Carter, Captain Marvel... Reed Richards and Black Bolt go to defend the place. <sighs> Reed Richards is like, Black Bolt can destroy you with one word out of his mouth. And you see Black Bolt like breathe in to power up his energy. And Wanda's like, with what mouth? And she erased his mouth, but he sucked in the energy, so he had it building up in his head. Then his fucking head explodes and, like, sinks in, and he falls to the ground, dies. <clears throat> Which is really kind of sad, because I got sad about that. And then we have Reed Richards. He throws his arm out to go grab her. She unravels him and pops his head like a fucking zit. Uh, then we have a fight between... Monica Rambeau, or Captain Marvel, Captain Carter, and Wanda. Wanda ends up killing Captain Carter and slices her in half with her own shield. And then drops a fucking statue on Captain Marvel, ending him. And then Doctor Strange, uh, not Doctor Strange, uh, Professor Xavier comes in to uh, end this madness. And uh, in the dream world or whatever the world is in her mind, she ends up snapping Professor X's neck and <laughs> kills him. This was the fucking Illuminati. One, Black Bolt was cool. Charles Xavier was cool. Mr. Fantastic was cool. And now I'll probably get a lot of hate for this. We didn't need Captain Carter on this thing, and we didn't need Captain Marvel on this. They could have had two other characters. I understand why they did it, but we could have had two other characters. Chu Four, Edgy Four, uh, who plays Master Mordo, him and Doctor Strange get into a fight, and it's kind of like whatever. Uh, so like, it was a waste. The Illuminati was a waste. It was cool to see those characters, but it was just kind of a waste, a one-off. And somebody said they don't think John Krasinski is a good Mister Fantastic. Now that we saw it, I think they're wrong. I think this wasn't a good Mr. Fantastic, but I think a movie built around him, I think is would be he would be perfect. Uh, the 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 chair, uh, Patrick Stewart looked really small in the chair, instead of like, not bulky, but the chair was way too big. It came to like up here on him. It just didn't look good instead of being waist level. Uh, but the whole Illuminati was kind of a waste. But it didn't detract from the movie and the overall story that we're telling and the visuals and how cool this shit was. Um, America Chavez was a standout. She was cool, man. And I like I like to see representation in movies. And they didn't just go, hey, like, make her make out with, like, like she's gay, but they didn't, like, overly go... Like, she wasn't at a gay rave or some shit like that. Like, it was just a normal thing. And so it just shows how stupid people are to ban it in countries because there was nothing overt about any of it. Like, the moms didn't come on the screen, like, fucking scissoring each other or some shit like that. Like, overtly anything. 
about it. It just seemed normal, which was, I liked. But I, I really like to see representation for all these characters. I really do. But America was the standout, and it was good to see her get built up. And they are going with her original storyline, not the retcon storyline, which I kind of like. Uh, Grace Randolph brought up why is she called America Chavez when they don't have an America in her world. Well, it could just be a fucking name. They could, they still have races, or mom's last name is Chavez, and it doesn't, it doesn't need to be all this. You don't need to think all that. You're nitpicking at that point. But overall, I really dug this movie, and I hope you dug this movie. And this is gonna be a long fucking review, but I, I wanted to talk about these things. This is a good. Let's see where it goes from here type movie. Very excited about it. Very excited for it. Very excited for this whole wave of the MCU. I really. So, where does this lie in our five-star review? This is a four-star movie. This is better than the first. And I'm going to be doing a review on that one. So, look forward to that. And, yeah, four stars, man. Hit it out of the box. Sam Raimi, you're awesome. Better to come about you, badass. Wanda was dope, but we need to see where her character goes from here. They're still building that character. Thank you guys for watching this review, and I will see you in our next review. Bye.